we're now going to go over how to access the Lab on Demand. If you go back to the screen, the browser, that you use to originally launch the class, you should note that if you come on down the page a ways, you have an activity section, and then you should see all modules. We're going to click the launch button, which is right there. So let's select the launch button, and you will note that our lab is going to start to build. This could take about a minute and 30 seconds. As you can see, the build is almost complete. And upon its completion, look at this. We're at a server. Now, if you will follow the red squiggly, you'll notice that at present, we're using MIA DC1. We're going to switch to the second machine, which is MIA SQL and we will do that by left clicking the block associated with that machine. Once we've selected that machine as part of our lab on demand then follow the red squiggly we're going to click the commands menu item and come down to the great control alt delete. So if you will choose commands control alt delete now we need to log in by issuing a password. Let's click on commands again, paste, and you will note that we have commands, paste, paste password. So that when we select commands, paste, paste password, it will paste the password here in the password text box area, and we will then select the submit button. So let's select the submit button. That should log us in and we're almost ready to use SQL. I'm going to maximize the screen. Follow the red squiggly and there is SQL Server Management Studio. So let's select the icon for SQL Server Management Studio and you'll note that we're almost ready to roll. At this point, all we have to do is click Connect. So let's click Connect. And we're in SQL, and we are ready to start querying.